Hi, my name is Aviator Rob. I am head developer of Aviator Rob 06 Minecraft Mods. Today I will be demonstrating how to make custom music discs with my Minecraft mod called Discs in Survival Mode. This mod is currently available on Minecraft 1.20.1 for Fabric, Forge, and Quilt. Let's begin. The first block you will need is called the Stamp Maker. And in order to make a stamp maker, you will need a crafting table and you will need four blocks of smooth stone, one point of dripstone, and one copper ingot. And when you arrange them in this pattern, you will get the stamp maker. Next, we will want to make a record stamp using this machine. To do that, you will need a block of lacquer. A block of lacquer can be obtained by putting in nine drops of lacquer in your 3x3 crafting table. To get drops of lacquer, you simply chop down trees, and as decaying leaves drop saplings and sticks, they will now also drop drops of lacquer. Huh? Once you have a block of lacquer, you will want to go to your stamp maker and right click to put the block of lacquer in. Next, you will want to get the video ID of your YouTube video of choice. In this case, I already have mine, so to put it in, you're going to sneak and while making sure you have nothing in your main hand or off hand, you're going to right click. Once you have this open, you're going to want to click into this text box here and paste in your video ID. I'm now going to hit this check mark and after a second, it pops out this record stamp. The next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make a record press. Now, in order to make a record press, you will need four blocks of cobblestone, one regular piston, and one redstone dust. When you arrange them in your 3x3 crafting table, as such, you will get one record press. The record press does require redstone input when you are ready to press items together in it, so in this example we'll use a lever. Now, in order to make records, we have the record stamp, but we will also need a blank disc. So to make a blank disc, you're going to need eight vinyl shards, and you're going to need to craft them into this recipe presented here. To get a single vinyl shard, you will need to use this recipe here, which consists of three drops of lacquer, two blocks of glass, one iron ingot, and one black dye. Please note, this yields one vinyl shard, so you will need to craft this eight times in order to make a blank disc like this. Once you have your blank disc and record stamp, you can go over to your record press, put in your record stamp and your blank disc. One optional step you can do is put in a third item to change the variant of the disc you will be making. This is simply for aesthetic purposes and it does not impact the performance of the disc. This list here is of all the variants the mod currently offers, with the corresponding items of course. In this instance, I would like to make my disc the color red. So I'm going to take a red die, and I'm going to go ahead and put it in. Once you're ready, you can go ahead and press the items together by flipping on your lever. And now we get back a damaged record stamp, which has a durability of three, meaning you can make three records per record stamp. And we get our red custom disc. To ensure that your song properly transferred onto it, you can take your cursor and hover it over the disc. And in this example, you can see I have Gilbert O'Sullivan's Alone Again. Now, in order to play it back, you will need a special jukebox called an advanced jukebox. And in order to get an advanced jukebox, you simply take a regular jukebox, put a diamond next to it in a crafting table, and you get one of these. Without further ado, we shall put in our disc as it's loading. And now it should start playing. Alright, and that completes the record making process in survival mode. As I stated earlier, this mod is available in 1.20.1 for fabric, forge, and quilt. You can find download links in the description below. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to reach out on my Discord server or on the Discs GitHub page. And if you like my work and want to support it, there's also a Patreon link. Thanks for watching. Aviator Rob, signing off. Have a good one.